everyone welcome back to cyber security tv this week we're going to talk about one of the interesting topic uh, called php type juggling uh, i'm not sure you might might have heard it uh, before but this is very interesting topic in terms of like you know how what is wrong with the php framework and and how you can utilize as an penetration tester to bypass authentication or maybe uh, try to do different hacks uh, within the php application however the first question we got to ask is is php still popular um, and and my understanding is yes it's not as widely used as it was like probably 10 years ago however still if you see the major applications like yahoo facebook there are a few modules in there using php wordpress of course it's built all upon php so uh, there, there are quite a few applications who are still using the PHP and today we are not gonna talk about the PHP 5 because like you know it's it's end of support and, and we will the the issue we're gonna talk about is with the PHP 7 so uh, the issue we have is the type juggling and what I meant is type is different types that any programming language would support so like be it string integer uh, octal uh, array right there are different different types uh, and then juggling is how does PHP juggle when you present with the different types of input, different values? So uh, there, there are two ways you can do comparison in the PHP. Uh, so the first comparison you can do is you have a double equal to. So for example, let's say you have to compare uh, one equal to two. You what you will do is you will do like one double equal to two right you you'll have like double equal to there and if you do that uh, for example let's say you have on one side you have string on other side you have integer and if you want to compare both of them it's quite difficult uh, and the reason is because there is no easy comparison there uh, now usually what will happen uh, if you use the double equal to uh, then the PHP will convert one of it into the integer and then try to compare it but let's say if you do not want PHP to like you know use uh, its logic and, and do this you can uh, like you know use triple uh, equal to sign and which is like a strict comparison so it will not convert any types now I'm, I'm, I'm telling you all of this information because later later in the uh, like you know video when we see the actual demo you'll you realize like you know why this is very essential now the example of some of the issues or underlying core concerns with the PHP uh, the first one is uh, here you can see like if we assign a variable foo uh, a value of double equal to zero uh, the PHP will consider it as a string which is valid like you have it within the double equal to's now if you try to addition I do the addition operation between 5 which is a string and 10 ducks which is again a string the answer will be 15 which is very strange right like you would see like why this is uh, like you know 15 in Python if you try this like it will actually concatenate the string and the reason is so it will first convert 5 to integer and then out of 10 ducks it will see okay what can we convert to integer and 10 so it will convert to integer and then calculate it you can try this out uh, this next one uh, 0 1 2 3 plus 0 1 2 4 if you if you like edit uh, like you know uh, do the addition between this you will see the value like usually you will see the value 247 however here the value will be 167 why because of zero it will think oh this should be an octal value so it will convert this into the octal value and then uh, like you know uh, do the addition and the last one uh, echo uh, one is one plus two which is both string because bit, uh, it's like you know within the double equal to sign and this will echo as three instead of twelve which ideally it should be so these are some like you know weird operations uh, going on with the PHP and, and let's see some of the loose comparison when you use like you know double equal to here and this is straight from the manual so now for example if you see so minus one is always holds true so if you compare anything with minus one that will hold true the another example is uh, null so if you compare zero with null that's true I don't know why but that's true PHP verb like double quotes PHP is true and then also if you compare PHP with zero which is true there's no logic behind this but that is what it is uh, same way if you see like you know uh, the empty string uh, with false which is true <laughs> that's completely weird and then empty string with zero is also true 
uh, the interesting uh, when we're gonna see the uh, like you know demo later today you you have to keep this in mind so when you have null and you compare with the array which is true so when you when you provide some array let's say user provide the array and, and on the other side you have the null value the condition if you have the if condition that will hold true so there are some like you know weird loose comparison going on in the php which uh, as a pen tester you can take the use of so let's take one of the example let's say uh, variable a has a value 0 b has 0 but with a single quote and there's a variable c which has array uh, two values 0 and 1 if you do like you know compare uh, where dump a is equal to equal to b then of course it will be false because though that's like you no know, different com uh, different types but if you compare 1 a is equal to, equal to c it will hold true because array it will try to convert into uh, like integer or something and it will eventually be null and if you compare null with zero it is true and then if you compare like you know sorry i think i i mix this up i think if you compare b with the c then it holds false for some reason so that's that's some weird uh, like you know you should try this out uh, seriously and and you will see this, this like you know weirdness of php so the best way to bypass some of the like you know checks or authentication in the application is when you cause the null condition right if you cause this php application to null condition and if you compare uh, with null condition so like if you go back here and if you have the null condition compared with false it will hold true so like anything on the other hand doesn't matter when you have compared with zero it will true uh, when compared null to null it's also true and null to array is true so your main goal when you're pen testing how do you like you know make some way that the application gives you a null value in the return and then it will like you know of course uh, succeed your condition so add an array in the url bar so for example let's say you have value is equal to one and now what if you add like array in there now there is no array this variable is not supposed meant to be array but when you add it uh, this this like you know will compare desperate types will make it initial value compared to null and that is passed so this will try to convert into uh, i don't know like uh, integer and it will not gonna happen so it will convert to null and then null will pass the condition uh, let's see a quick demo of like you know how this comparison can be used to bypass authentication i i wasn't able to like you know create an ui application so i'm just gonna use like our php shell to do this all right so this is our php cell uh, so what i'm gonna do uh, first is i'm gonna declare two variables one let's imagine there is an web application where you have in the database you have password which is stored by the application maybe hash and uh, the other password which is provided by the user right so we have a control on what user can change what user password can be changed now let's assume uh, in the database password we have this variable db pass which is set for sorry one two three four and then we have let's provide the user pass which is four three five six which is completely different right and now let's try to compare this uh, with the string comparison str comparison uh, db pass then user pass now equal to equal to zero right if both are compared and it the result is zero then you can say echo you are logged in and then apply the semicolon close this then you put else condition then again echo please try again so if you are if this is comparison fails then it will say please try again right that's the standard application you would see and here now of course the comparison failed because both are different strings and even if you compare uh, i think i made one mistake here it should be one okay but even if you do that please try again because both are different strings and even if you convert it to the integer it's not gonna match now let's do uh, this thing uh, you as a user decided to pass an array right and then i'm gonna use uh, this function called where dump user pass and 
you can see it's just gonna fill out like you no know, it's gonna list the number the where dump actually variable it's gonna list what value you have in the array so it's just a zero empty error now let's try again comparing this the first thing it will say warnings to uh, expects parameter 2 to be string array given in php shell call it light 1 so it's not able to compare so you said okay you're logged in then because it converted to null and now you can compare uh, one two three four with the array and you you are passed you you pass the authentication so this is like you know uh, the weird uh, stuff like one of the uh, issue or, or the uh, like you know vulnerability i actually saw a few years ago was the application was using md5 hash so uh, and the f first few characters of the hash is zero e i think it converts this to the octal or uh, hacks or something uh, the php and uh, if you provide like you know constantly provide zero value ultimately it will compare zero with the null and and then you have the authentication bypass so that is that's some of the like you know weirdness about the php uh, not, it's not very much used recently but there's a few applications that still uses it so uh, i hope you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already uh, and subscribe to my channel for the uh, next episode and i'll see you guys uh, later bye, -bye.